con Tina Lang. Hi kiddos, it's me, Mom Shella, and your free calculus teacher for this semester. This is a pre-recorded video in Solving Circles, video number four. We're almost done. This is the last set, and our topic would be solving applications of circles. Ito na, ito na yung pinakahihintay ninyo. Saan nyo ba gagamitin lahat ng natutunan nyo mula dun sa mga naunang video? This is it. Okay, so let's begin. This is the word problem. I want you to observe the example. Okay, I will do it with you. Let's read together. A bridge is to be constructed above a fast flowing river to connect two islets. Using the idea of the Laguna Garzon Bridge in Uruguay, a circular bridge is to be created for two purposes. One is to get more people across the river, and two, to slow down their vehicles in the process. Here is the plan of the circular bridge superimposed to a coordinate plane. Oh, diba? Pwede nang pang DJ. Charing. So, this is uh, the the graph. It's uh, the plan of uh, the circle. And then, you also have your coordinate plane there. So, it's placed in a coordinate plane. It's superimposed. Now, let's see the questions. Determine the center and radius of the circle. Letter B. Identify the standard form of the equation of the circle. Letter C. Reconstruct the graph using any method. Go. Lakas maka quiz B. Okay, so let's solve. Uh, we have three questions for this problem. So the situation is, there is a bridge that is to be constructed. The concept is... Um, when you have a circular bridge, you would be able to get more people across because the curvature of the bridge would allow more vehicles to be able to pass through at a certain time instead of just a straight one. And then, the second is to slow down the vehicles in the process. If uh, what you've learned in physics, remember you have centripetal and centrifugal force. This would act on the vehicles turning on the curvature of the bridge so that would slow down their movement instead of just a straight a straightforward bridge where it's very prone to speeding having a curvature on the bridge would allow the uh, would require the vehicles to slow down and then physics itself would pull them because of the centripetal and centrifugal force acting upon these moving vehicles so what you have to do is to determine of course, first the center and radius of the circle, and then we have to identify the standard form and then reconstruct the circle using any method. Let's begin by first identifying the actual graph of the circle. This is uh, the given figure, right? You have the plan of the bridge, and it's superimposed in a coordinate uh, in a coordinate plane. So let's extract the circle from that. So this is it. Let's extract that and remove first the actual plan. Okay, so from this circle, we now have this circle. We apply what you have learned in identifying the standard form given the graph. So first, let's locate the center and the radius. You look at the x-axis first. I remember, begin with the x-axis. So it's negative 7. And then look at the y-axis. The y-axis now is at... 5. So our center is a negative 7, 5. Next, let's identify the radius. To be able to identify the radius, let's count the number of units. Again, you're counting the number of units. Okay, the units. You're counting the units, and that is for units. You could either measure up, down, left, or right. Whichever is easier for you, whichever is convenient for you. Now, why do you think is it important to first identify uh, why do you think the problem is constructed such that you would first identify the center and radius of the circle? Of course, these are the two values that you would need in order to answer letter B, which is 
identifying the standard form based on what you've learned if you know the center and the radius of a circle you would be able to identify the standard form as well kaya nga siya tinawag na center radius form because those are the values that you would need in order to come up with this equation and the formula is the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared and you know the next step what would it be very good you would be substituting papalitan mo yes you have to okay so if you would be substituting that remember you have a double negative here so um you would multiply negative by negative and have a positive value you know that already so your answer would be x plus 7 quantity squared even though the value for h is negative 7 so negative times negative will be positive ulit ulit na lang ako no ulit ulit na lang minsan ulit ulit para maalala mo para rin sa iyo to okay anyway we substitute the value for k get the square square of your r so 4 squared is 16 and this is now your standard equation next let's proceed letter c we reconstruct the graph using any method so what we've done a while ago in extracting the circle that is already the manual method and then you already know how to use your desmos app you just um, type in uh, the equation and then label the center check the label importante ang label so from this um, we've already answered the three questions from the problem again that's the manual method and then uh, the desmos method that's it we're at the end you made it very good so what am i pointing out here uh, what's the point of this whatever we're studying right now especially in this first mid quarter you would be able to apply them in real life they are not everyday scenarios because these are higher mathematics. Hindi mo gagamitin to kapag bumili ka ng itlog sa kanto. Tama. You will not use this because this kind of mathematics is not meant for that alone. It's meant for a higher purpose. Another reminder, whenever you're solving word problems, please, kalma lang. Calm down. You can do this. You already learned the skill that you would need in order to solve that problem. Hindi porke problem solving siya ay mas mahirap na siya. You just have to calm down. Calm down. Breathe. And then I want you to remember, math it till you solve it. Math it till you solve it. I know it's sometimes intimidating when you read a very long problem then you see that there are a lot of questions indicated there. But hey, this discussion is easy that means you would be able to follow through as well you just have to take it step by step and moreover the best way to become good at math is to keep on practicing keep on practicing and you would become better i would be with you on this calculus journey so still then See you on the next video. Bye-bye. Happy learning.